Hello and welcome to another tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to sign up and start using Mastodon. So Mastodon is a social network that's cropped up uh, ever since the explosion of whatever is going on over at Twitter. So if you want to know how to sign up and start using it, uh, what you want to do first is go to Mastodon, M-A-S-T-O-D-O-N dot social. And once you are here, you're going to see a big blue button that says sign in or create account. So what you want to do is click the create account button. Once you've done that, it's going to basically give you the rules and regulations of Mastodon. So it says these are set and enforced by Mastodon, lets you know all of those rules. I'm not going to read through them. You can do that on your own time. Once you're here, go ahead and click the accept button down below the rules. Next, we're going to see the uh, information that you need to insert in order to create your account. You're going to need to create a display name, which is going to be the name that shows, kind of like your Twitter display name that you can kind of change periodically uh, to be whatever you want it to be. But whatever you want your display name to be, put that here. And then your username is going to be a username at mastodon.social. So again, that's going to be your username for folks to find you. But what they're going to see on your profile and when you interact with them is going to be your display name. So go ahead and fill in all of this information here. Go ahead and click in the I have read and agree to the privacy policy and just click the blue sign up button. Once you've done that, you'll see a confirmation that says a message with a confirmation link has been sent to that email address that you provided to them. So in order to confirm, you need to hop over to your email like I've done here. You'll see the email confirmation and then just click the blue button that says verify email address and then it'll automatically take you back over to Mastodon. Now, what you're going to see is it looks kind of similar to Twitter. You're going to see some uh, similarities between the two. You can see here it says what's on your mind. This is where you will put uh, your little micro or mini blog. You can do up to 500 characters. You can link images and GIFs and things like that by using the paperclip. All of these things are going to be very familiar to you. You'll see here there's an ability to create polls uh, directly from within the uh, little uh, publish tool here. So once you hit the publish button and you've typed something in, just click on your display name up here or your username, and then you're going to see here, this is what I just typed in and published, and it's going to show up in your feed, very similar to what you see on Twitter. So everything below your post here, you're going to see this right here. This gives you the option to basically re uh, repost that, uh, kind of like a retweet. Then you're going to see the ability to kind of boost that. They call this a boost. And then you're going to see a, an option to favorite and then an option to bookmark. And I assume the bookmark is just going to bookmark it to the top of your feed. So when you continually post things, this one will show up top if you post it. Now, if you click the three horizontal dots here uh, on the post, you're going to see a bunch of different options. You can pin on profile, you can bookmark, you can expand this post, copy link to the post to share with others, you can edit, I love that, you can delete, or you can delete and redraft. Uh, so all of these will be options for you here. Now, how do you start following people and exploring the different things that are here on the, uh, the, the system? What you're going to want to do is go to explore, so you can go to explore here, and you're going to be able to search for different topics uh, right here in the search bar, and then you can go below and you can just click on someone's profile, and just very similar to all of the social networks that you know and love, you can just click the blue follow button here, or the three vertical dots, and then you can send them a DM, you can mention them, you can mute, block, or report them, all from within their profile. Now, on your profile, you're not going to see much information here. So in order to edit and go ahead and, and change your profile, you want to click the edit profile button here. And once you've done this, you can then add in a bio, uh, which is some information about yourself. You can give your uh, profile a header image, which will be kind of the banner. And then you can choose your avatar, which currently is just whatever they have uh, kind of default within the system. You can choose your images, add those profile images here. And then you can also adjust some settings within your profile where you can basically require follow requests so that manually controls who can follow you. Uh, then you can have a, basically you can check if it's a bot account. Uh, then you can even go to suggest account to others. Uh, this is recommended basically where your account will be suggested to other folks. And then you can hide your social graph. Uh, so you, if you want to hide who you follow and interact with, you can do that here as well. All of this stuff is very similar to what you already see uh, inside other 
social networks. Uh, basically, these are profile metadata. These are labels and contents. If you want your profile to be about, say, basketball or you cover the NBA, you can put NBA, basketball, professional basketball, and all of that will be labeled and tagged within your profile. This is pretty cool. It's different than what we see currently, and this is kind of what separates them from the pact. Uh, and then if you want to, if you want to delete your account, you can do so uh, by going here and clicking the proceed here button, uh, but you just started it. So unless you really don't like what you see, uh, I would just show you where that is if that's what you want to do. Uh, all of this on the left hand side, I'm really not going to cover. If you want to, you can kind of thumb through all the different settings and appearance modes. You can put it in dark mode. You can put it in light mode. All of that will be here. You can see your follows and followers here. Uh, you can go to account and change all of that information that you added as far as like your email address and all of that good stuff. But for the most part, if you go to mastodon.social, uh, you'll be able to see your feed here, the ability to post a uh, post here on the left. Uh, you can always change your information as I just showed you, and this should get you up and running on Mastodon. If you have any further questions about anything in more detail that I did not cover in the video, please put those in the comment section down below. I'll get to those as soon as I can, and I will see you guys in the next video.